Israeli forces fatally shoot two Palestinian boys in the occupied West Bank. Israeli forces shot and killed two Palestinian children this morning in the occupied West Bank. Malak Majored Abdel Fatah Deira, 17, was shot and killed by Israeli forces around for 15 a.m. today in the Palestinian village of Kafar Ain, northwest of Ramallah in the occupied West Bank, according to documentation collected by Defense for Children International, Palestine. Israeli forces entered Kafar Ain earlier that morning to conduct arrest operations. Palestinians confronted Israeli forces, and Israeli forces shot Malek for times in his right and left legs, shoulder, and abdomen, from a distance of about 60 to 80 meters, 196 to 262 feet. Malek was transferred to Beit Rimer Health Center, then Yasser Arafat Hospital in Salfit, where he was pronounced dead around for 45 a.m. AMR Ahmed Jamal Abu Wadan, 14, was shot in the chest by Israeli forces around 10 a.m. this morning in the Palestinian village of Tayasser, east of Tubers in the northern occupied West Bank, according to documentation collected by Tzip. Israeli forces entered Tubers around 6 a.m. to besiege a house and began to withdraw toward Tayasser around 10 a.m. AMR threw stones toward heavily armored Israeli military vehicles withdrawing from Tubers when an Israeli soldier inside a vehicle shot him in the chest from a distance of about 30 meters, 98 feet. An ambulance brought AMR to the Turkish governmental hospital in Tubers, where doctors performed surgery before pronouncing him dead around 1 p.m. Palestinian children continue to bear the brunt of the Israeli military's shoot-to-kill policy, said Aid Abu Ektaish, accountability program director at SIP. Israeli forces roam the occupied West Bank knowing they can kill any Palestinian with complete impunity, including children. 62 Palestinian children have been killed in the occupied West Bank since October 7, according to documentation collected by SIP when the Israeli military began a full-scale military offensive on the Gaza Strip dubbed Operation Iron Swords. So far this year, Israeli forces and settlers have killed at least 102 Palestinian children in the occupied West Bank, according to documentation collected by Tzip. Israeli forces and settlers shot and killed 88 Palestinian children with live ammunition, nine Palestinian children were killed in drone strikes, for Palestinian children were killed by missiles fired from AU.S, sourced a Pash attack helicopter, and one child was killed in an Israeli warplane airstrike. At least 231 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces and settlers in the occupied West Bank since October 7, according to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. Under international law, Intentional lethal force is only justified in circumstances where a direct threat to life or of serious injury is present. However, investigations and evidence collected by TSIP regularly suggest that Israeli forces use lethal force against Palestinian children in circumstances that may amount to extrajudicial or willful killings.